Welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's Girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. They suggested I react to a question and answer Jesus before Abraham was. was I am John. I don't know how to read that because I just don't know how to read that. It's not making sense. But it's by. Amid Didat, I'm always excited to be reacting to Amid Didat's uh, videos. So, without wasting time, let's get into the video. Too close. You should be somewhere there. Okay, uh, now we'll begin with the, with the oral questions, please. Oh, sir, you claim that Jesus never said he was God. But uh, have you read John 8 58? I'm sure you're familiar with that, where he took the name of God that was described in, uh, to Moses. When God said to Moses, the name that he wanted to be called forever in generations. He said, I am who I am. Jesus in John 8, 58, when asked, you know, who he was, he said, before Abraham was, I am. And then right after that, the Jews, the Pharisees, took up stones to stone him because he committed a blasphemy, claiming to be God Almighty. How do you answer that, sir? Uh, shall I repeat my words? I said, no way. Did Jesus ever say, I am God? No way did he say, worship me. That's English. I don't know whether the Americans understand the English the way I understand. I said, he said, no way did he say, I am God. No way did he say, worship me. Now, you quote me a verse. He didn't say, I am God, did he? He said, I am. He didn't say, I am God. I'm, let's, let's, the English, the language that I'm using, I hope we are, you remember at the beginning I offered a prayer, you know, remove the impediment from my speech, psychological barriers. You see, I'm thinking something, talking something, you're understanding something else. I said, where he said, I am God, where he says, worship me, nothing. So you're quoting something else, I will respond. You see, I will not brush you off, I say, oh, this is of no consequence, no. He did say, they're asking him, he says, in the, in the Garden of Gethsemane. You see, they come looking for Jesus. And he's asking, whom seekers? Thou, you people, who are you looking for? He said, Jesus. He says, I am he, I am. He, who? God. They were looking for God. No, he says, I am he, who? Jesus, the one you're looking for. If some of your FBI or CIA fellow comes along looking for D-Dad, he says, who is D-Dad here? I said, I am. What, God? When I say, I am? No, he says, I am the that. So now, if a person is looking for trouble, you see, when we're looking for false, and the Jews were looking for trouble against Jesus, any excuse, every excuse, slightest something he says, they pick up stone, stone again to stone him. Why? Because they say, you claim such and such a thing. You blaspheme, you blaspheme. They were always continuously out to get him out, to catch him out. Because they didn't like his preaching. Why did he say, okay, they say, where are you, Jesus? Okay, Jesus is in the garden now. Is it normal for a person to say, before Abraham was, I am? Right. So, no, 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 right. That, that's right. 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 So, that's right. So now, this word, I am, is from the Old Testament. You see. No, 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 no. Moses goes to the mount, and when he's commissioned, to go and liberate his people. He says, he's asking God, he said, look, what shall I say? Who sent you? So he said, look, I am what I am. Eheye asher eheye. In Hebrew, that's what he said. Eheye asher eheye. Means I am whatever I am. He says, don't bother about who sent you. I sent you. Go, man. What you asking me names? I am? Not I am whatever I am. Please, 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 please. You see, the questioner, I hope, will go and sit down. Because this is not a debate. You ask a question, I will answer. Please sit down. Please sit down. Let it in the front seat. There's a chair. Sit down. That's right. You ask the question, I will respond. You see? But this is a debate. And debate I had with Jimmy Swaggart. You see? We don't want to debate tonight. So, God tells Moses, go, man, go. I am what I am. What you bothered about who I am? 
Somebody comes along and says, look, move the mic from here to there. He says, who are you? Maybe he's in charge of this establishment. Say, look, don't bother about all that. You put that thing there. What? He says, who are you? I say, I am whatever I am. Do the job, man. So that word in the Greek translation is ho on. Ho on, I am. In Greek, your Septuagint, you know, your Greek scriptures of the Old Testament, the word there is ho on, means I am. In the New Testament, the Greek word is ego eimi. Look, it's not the same word. Whatever it means in Hebrew or Greek, I don't know. But it's not the same word. Ho on, ego eimi. Then before Abraham was, I am. I am before Abraham was. I am. I said, now how was he? Was he with God? I accept he was with God. See, he was with God. I say, you were also with God. I was also there. Jeremiah tells us, God tells Jeremiah, he says, before you were in your mother's womb, I knew you. And I made you a prophet to the nations before you went into your mother's womb. Jeremiah, you read that? Jeremiah, God says, I know you before you were in your mother's womb. I made you a prophet. How? What kind of a prophet is this? Before he goes in his mother's womb, he's a prophet. Was he with God? Of course he was with God. In other words, in the knowledge of God, Jeremiah was there. Jesus was there. Muhammad was there. Hitler was there. Regan was there. Everybody was there. You, me, everybody. In the knowledge of God. He knew long before, you know, the creation of Adam and Eve, that there will be a night, this guy Ahmad did that, you know, he'll go and lecture, and you, my son, I don't know your name, but he said, you will come along, and you'll be the first questioner. He knew all that in his knowledge. But you were not there in this form. I was not there in this form. Jesus was not there in that form. In the knowledge, everything was there. That is the all-knowing God. Long beforehand, he knows everything. You see? So in that sense, Jesus was there with God before Abraham was born in this world. Before historically, chronologically, Abraham came on earth, Jesus was there. In his knowledge, in his plan, he had Jesus there. He had Muhammad there. He had Hitler there. He had Regan there. Can you see? Before Abraham was born, Regan was there, Didat was there, everybody was there. How? What form? Shape, size? No, no form, no shape, no size. Knowledge. His, his self-knowledge. He's omniscient. Do you say that? God Almighty is omniscient. He's all-knowing. If he's all-knowing, he knows. Everything, before and after. It is to us, before, now, and after. In the sight of God, there is no before, now, and after. It's all shh. An open book. That is our understanding of the expression. Why the Jews took exception? They were taking exception to everything. You see, in John, chapter 10, verse 30, you remember? They took up stones again to stone him. You know why? Because he said, I and my father are one. You read that context and you find it's a series of deliberate misunderstanding. See, when you're looking for trouble, you get it around the corner. You don't have to go very far. This is human beings. Every innocent expression you make, I can find fault with it. You know that? Like the word son is my son. So what do you mean? You knew my mother? I said, no, no, son. I don't mean that. Said, you still call me a son? You know, you can bash me on the jaw. It has happened to me. See, in my country, it is a country, you know, full of color separation, apartheid. I'm traveling in a bus, Pullman bus. I don't know if you have things like that here. From the north coast where I got married and I'm coming to Durban, you know, where I live and I work. After a weekend, I am returning. I'm sitting in the bus. And while this bus is passing now through Durban, the city where I live, and I can see that it's going to the central station, but it passes uh, Alley Street where I work. So I walk up to the driver and I ask him, excuse me, brother, does this bus stop anywhere near Alice Street? If so, then I can pull the string and nearer to, to get to work instead of going to the station and then walking back two miles. If it is stopping anywhere near Alice Street, it's passing Alice Street, I know it's crossing it. So he said, no. Not like he barked, he said, no. I thought maybe sometimes, you know, we do speak with jerks unintentionally. You know, I speak a bit too loud when I didn't mean it. You see? It's, no. So I go and sit back on my chair. See? So it takes me to the central station. No alternative. By hydraulics, the doors are open. 
I get down, I'm still holding the rail, one leg on the ground, and the leg is the other one on the, still on the, on, the, on the platform. So he leaves his steering and he rushes to me. He says, don't you call me your brother. He says, call those coolies your brothers. So what happened? I'm stunned. I don't know what's going on. He says, don't you call me your brother. Call those coolies your brothers. I am counted as a coolie. Coolie means a laborer. You see, some of my people, they had gone to South Africa as laborers. So they divide the people into Africans. They call them Kaffirs. Coloreds. Coloreds are a mixture between black and white. They call them hot knots, hot and tots, bushmen. See? Me, I'm a coolie, whether Hindu, Muslim, or Christian. So he says, don't you call me your brother. Call those coolies your brothers. But I don't know what happened. You know, it's so sudden. I, go, I didn't mean anything. You know what he thought? He thought that I insinuated that my father had something to do with his mother. Is that what I mean when I say my brother, my son? No, he took it that way. And I'm stunned. If he had a gun, he would have shot me. My God, fortunately, he didn't have one. So this is, if you're looking for trouble, innocent expression. He was a, a, a brother, I did. He said, you still call me up my brother? You know, he could have punched me, you know that? So, mom is the word, retreat, honorable retreat, I did. However, uh, the next question. It's very true. People are always going to want to find a wrong thing in whatever you say, even if you mean good. I guess uh, we're always looking for trouble somewhere. It's like trouble excites us. Why can't we just take what someone says and just listen? Imagine someone just calling you my sister and you get offended by that. It really doesn't make sense. Or someone saying, uh, maybe you shouldn't be eating cold food and you take that the wrong way. People are amazing. Very, very amazing. Don't take certain things out of context in short. Don't overthink certain things. Some things are as simple as what it is. So when I say I am, does it mean that I am God? No, it does not. It does not. And I don't think Jesus was trying to say the same was trying to insinuate that he's God. What? At, at this point, I'm just sick and tired of people, ignorant people that actually come on these platforms to express that um, Jesus is God. No, he's human just like you and I. Let's accept that and maybe we will see or learn something new and different that we can learn from and share with our friends around us. Otherwise, let me know what you guys actually think. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.